Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today I have another installment of This Week in EDM where I looked at songs that came out in the week of May 24th to 30th of 2021. The way this is going to work, I'm just going to go in uh, ascending order, working it from the worst songs of the week to the best, and there are four categories that I'm categorizing songs. One, don't bother, songs that I just think you're not going to like at all. Neutral, that I was like, meh on, but maybe you will enjoy more. A good listen, something I think is a good risk, good listen, regardless of your personal preference on genre or anything like that. And finally, standout. But spoiler alert, there are no standouts, and I actually think this is a fairly weak week. Huh. So let's jump into it. Our first track of the week, uh, Back in Time by Marshmallow and Carnage. And I mean, uh, the song is supposed to be a throwback track, but uh, but damn, it's it's awful. Uh, I, I don't like it. It's uh, it's a Euro house in the most basic form, and uh, honestly, uh, stay away from this track. Up next, uh, similarly, we have Camelot by Timmy Trumpet featuring Smash Mouth out of nowhere. And uh, this is just an odd song. The lyrics feel outdated and honestly non-musical to most extents. And Timmy Trumpet has this kind of classic deep house trumpet production, and uh, it's just boring. I was not a fan, so stay away from this, these two tracks. Uh, another one of Don't Bother is Highest in the Room by Scandal. I was a huge fan of Scandal early on, but uh, this is just, just a quick two and a half minute hit uh, of a big room house track, and uh, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan. Uh, it has less than great mastering and an unmotivated drop. It just, it all makes this a big mess for me. Up next, I Miss the Future by Lost Kings featuring Jordan Shaw. Uh, this is a, for the most part, a basic boring trap track that I've heard time and time again that just feels super outdated, or not even outdated, just, just so overused. Uh, it sounds like a really bad gray track to me, uh, especially with that vocoder section in the end of the track to finish it off. Up next, we're moving into the neutral category now. So songs I think maybe you'll enjoy in some capacity. We have uh, Imagine, the Tiesta remix by Ben Platt. Uh, first of all, uh, just making songs that are just over two minutes, please stop. I don't like these songs at all. Obviously, people aren't gonna just listen to me, but EDM needs to stay away from these quick two minute songs. I don't think they're serving anyone well. They just need to stay away from them. Maybe do a radio mix and an actual extended mix where you have a yeah, I just, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Otherwise, the track is boring. It's a super dry commercial house um, song, and yeah. Up next, Shine Your Light by Master KG and David Guetta featuring Akon. Uh, I mean, it's a really hopeful and forward-looking song, uh, but damn, if this thing isn't, again, super boring, that's going to come up quite a bit um, this week. I feel like this, again, very off week for me. Uh, it sadly reminds me of Little Dicky's Earth and kind of how just, yeah, it was just weird and almost shallow. I wasn't a big fan. Up next, uh, You Wanna Stay by Infected Mushroom. Uh, I picked this track from the EP because, well, it is the single that was released, I guess. Um, but I think it's the best of the project, but even that is to say that I didn't love it a ton. I think Infected Mushroom is running out of their creativity a little bit, and this just sounds like everything else they've released on Monster Cat beforehand. Up next, Praise, the Mala remix by Chami featuring Gunna. Uh, Mala's remix here isn't really my classic flavor of what I really enjoy listening to. Uh, it's a glitchy electro house version of a pretty solid track to begin with. Uh, and the remix just doesn't capture the same feeling that the original did. Up next, Peace of Mind by Drove. Uh, Drove is back with their first single since their uh, debut project, their debut EP, uh, and it's really nothing special. It's a basic house track with a glimmer of a late night driving atmosphere. Otherwise, it's pretty boring, just like a lot of the things I've mentioned here. Up next, uh, Mon Sherry by Sophie Tucker and <laughs> Amadou and Miriam. Miriam? I'm, I'm going to butcher some of these names, so just bear with me. Uh, it's a Spanish lyrical track, uh, and that doesn't really resonate with me for the most part, which is why it's kind of just in a neutral for me. Uh, but production-wise, um, it's, yeah, it's nothing really special. That breakdown section in the back half uh, didn't really do anything to make it the track really, it didn't enhance the track at all, so I wasn't a huge fan. Up next, uh, Collapse uh, by Kuro and Have featuring I'm Alright. Uh, since Kuro has split into uh, one producer, it was two people and now it's just one. I think this is his weakest track since then, uh, but that's not to say I didn't enjoy it a little bit. Uh, I think the song was just okay. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't me for the most part. 
Up next, Be Cool by Bishu featuring uh, Rue Mello. Uh, this is a bright summer track from Bishu, uh, but I think it's one of his weakest in the last little stint that he's had. Uh, his last couple songs have been fantastic, and so I think this is just a little step below, not a ton. Uh, it doesn't have that same kind of pop as I think some of the other tracks that he's produced recently have had. Up next, uh, Hikuk, <laughs> Haikiko Mori, I think is what it is, Haikiko Mori Demo by Jay Wolf. Uh, this is a solid late night driving track with a somber atmosphere. Uh, it is a demo track, so I don't think Jay Wolf put a ton of time into it or just he didn't do that originally and then slapped demo at the end. Um, so it's not as fleshed out as I liked it to have been, but I did enjoy it. Up next, uh, Myth by Snooze. And uh, for anyone that's watching this for the first time, uh, Snavs, like S-N-A-V-S, is pronounced Snooze. It blew my mind when I found this out a couple months ago, but it is Snooze. Uh, it's a fairly basic hybrid trap track here, and uh, it was good, but not super noteworthy in my opinion. Up next, Speak Easy by Nightmare and Alexander Smash featuring Ghost Low. I was not feeling the first drop of this track a whole ton, uh, but the have substantial, blah, but the substantially heavier take on the second drop kind of redeemed it a little bit and gave me a little bit of a glimpse of hope into the song being pretty solid. Up next, Stranger Love by Panau and Bajara. Uh, it's not a bad Future House track, uh, but I've heard Panau mix and master and honestly have better creativity than this track. I don't mind it, but I think Panau has done a lot better in the past. So that's why it's here. Up next, Echelon by No Taker. Uh, this track was a little bit less atmospherically focused as I think No Taker has done in the past and something that I think he really excels when he d makes a kind of space operatic sound. Uh, but this wasn't quite that. So in comparison to the rest of his discography, it's a solid Electro House track, but nothing that I think was outstanding, especially compared to his other stuff. Now we've got Like You by Rome in Silver. Uh, I didn't find this track super interesting. Uh, Rome in Silver does a ton of experimental sound design and this one just felt a little tame to me in comparison to what he's done in the past. Moving on, we've got Crikey by Drop Tech. Uh, this is a solid halftime DNB track by Drop Tech. I don't normally love DNB. I keep saying that to myself, but I find myself really listening to a lot of drum and bass right now. Uh, but this song just screams Drop Tech to me with its kind of bubbly synths and distorted bass hits. And so if you like Drop Tech, if you like DNB, you'll like this song a lot. Up next, we've got Pick Me Up by Sam Feld and Sam Fisher. Uh, this is a kind of cookie cutter summer deep house track, but it honestly isn't all that bad. It's just super basic. So if you like that kind of stuff, this is definitely going to be a radio friendly or summer hits EDM song. Up next, A Reason to Hold On by Flaws. Uh, Flaws takes a predominantly more acoustic approach to this track than I think I've heard him do in the past anywhere, really. And he takes the back 30 seconds of this track to be a little bit more glitchy uh, with a production style, but for the most part, I thought the track was, uh, was, was good. So that's where it is. Up next, we've got Fast Forward by Uppermost, and this is a fairly catchy, simplistic house track. It feels like it's uh, deeply inspired by synthwave music, uh, as well as it's uh, it's purely instrumental, and so I did get a decent kick out of this one. I wish it kind of would have been fleshed out a little bit more, but it wasn't too bad for me. Moving into the Good Listens category, there is now only three songs in the Good Listen category. It's not a really great week for me. Uh, all those last, I think, eight songs are all like the same. I gave them like a six out of ten, and so they, yeah. So, moving into Good Listens now, we've got Sensitive by Tasaki featuring Charity Vance. Uh, the production style on this is way brighter than I think anything Tasaki has done in the past. I am liking the sound design of this a ton, and I'm hoping this uh, upcoming album, this is the first single from an upcoming album, will sound similar to it. And so I'm excited for it. Uh, that is Sensitive. Up next, we've got Sick by Jaws, Frank Zumo, and featuring We Are Pigs. Uh, this track is like a pseudo rock track with hints of EDM here and there, other elements that are kind of spliced in throughout the whole track. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit for its consistent energy and kind of in your face tonality. And with that, we're gonna be moving into the best track of the week in my opinion. It is Alberta by Memba and Sar. Uh, fun fact, I live in British Columbia, which is right next to Alberta. Uh, I don't know why it's actually called that. There's really nothing about the song that makes it feel like it's Alberta is a good title. I don't really get it, but 
Regardless, I have always been a fan of Memba and their sound design, and this is no exception, really. Um, I love their kind of take on the future bass genre, future bass genre, and this is another solid track for them. So that's been this week in EDM. Let me know what you guys think of these tracks. If there are artists you want me to cover, uh, just let me know in the comment section below and I will follow them on Spotify. So that when stuff comes out, I can see it in my release radar. That's why I go through and find all of these songs. I just follow as many people as I can, as many EDM people as I can on Spotify. And then when it hits Friday or Thursday at 9 p.m. for me, I go through and list out all the songs I want to cover. So that's that. I have been Bowtide Media. I will see you guys in another video.